So right now we're going to uh, take off and refit this Townsend Rebel Reliever Brace. For most patients, I like to leave these two straps done so that the patient uh, doesn't undo them ever on their own. And I fit it so I can get the hinges aligned right through the midline of the knee joint. So um, then the patient just has to set it on their leg and tighten the four back straps every time they put it on. This guarantees that the hinges will be right in the appropriate spot because if a patient has to do front and back straps, this hinge could be too far forward or too far forward, too far back possibly. So it's nice to just set it up so they just have to drop it on. The straps crisscross right, left, right, left. Every time you take a brace off, you want to undo the strap, pull the strap back to itself so that they don't get all crisscrossed and caught up on each other. Now, when you're looking for the straps, there's a little circular end to the strap that you can find, and it doesn't have Velcro right on the end, and that's how you make sure you have the end. So every time we take the brace on and off, see now the patient just has to set that on their leg, and the two front straps are already set up. You wanna line it up right across the, if your patella's here, you wanna line up the hinge here, right to the side of it, so it's going right where the knee bends because you want that brace to bend right where the knee bends. And you also want to make sure that when you put it on, you don't fold any of these forward, keep them open. So we get it on. I like to do the top first and open up the flaps in the bottom. Slide down the patient, get the hinges all the way back so that the straps are snug against the leg in the front. Always do the strap right above the calf first, right under the knee. The reason we do that is because that one really holds onto the ball of the calf. I'll tighten it down nice and good, okay? Then, I like to make sure my alignment's still good. You see the, the hinge of the knees lined up with the, the hinge of the brace. Then I like to do the strap right above the knee. The reason we like to do that is that now we're gonna have the entire brace aligned with that knee joint perfectly and pull it real tight, okay? Now we make sure we're good, we're lined up, everything's looking good. Then you could do the thigh or the calf, it does not matter. There we go, give a good snug fit. The most important strap is that first one right above the calf because it really grabs onto the ball of the calf. Um, sometimes too, a lot of brace companies will tell you don't over tighten this top thigh strap because the patient sometimes will complain. But also more importantly, because the thigh is shaped like an upside down triangle, if you tighten the top one too much, a lot of soft tissue, sometimes it'll actually squeeze the brace off the leg a little bit. Your two, um, your, your strap that really works the most is this one and I would say this one kind of grab it on the side right above the knee to kind of hold it up. Um, at this point, you have the patient ambulate. Sometimes it's, it's, if it's the first fitting, you will have to have them take you know a few laps in the clinic and then come back and you can check to see if it's drifted downward because it's not tight enough or if any straps are loose or if you have to make any adjustments. And that's it for this um, Townsend Rebel Reliever OA unloader brace and also a ligamentous brace. And we didn't go over the unloading dial, but I just wanted to show the proper fitting of it.